Hey guys, what is up? My name is Dave, and today I want to actually bring you guys a little bit of a different video from myself. This is going to be a Callisto safe spot guide. Now, as a lot of you guys know, all of the Willy bosses can be safe spotted, and I want to cover all the different methods with you guys. This guide will cover the north spot, which is in multi, the south spot, which is in single, and the range safe spot. So I'm going to show the, all of those to you guys and explain the positives and negatives of all of them, but I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. So, firstly, there's going to be a couple things that you're going to need to switch out if you don't have a house. As you can see, in my house, I have the Rejuvenation Portal, and down there, I have the Anacarl Portal. If you don't have an Anacarl Portal, what you're going to have to do is, instead of using a house tab to get there, you're just going to have to use an Anacarl Teleport, or you can just use portals or walk there, whatever your preferred method is, but Anacarl is the fastest way to get there. So, gear. If you're mailing, this is the most optimal gear setup to use. Um, full Varix, obviously, everyone already knows that. You can choose to wear barrel's gloves and or dragon boots if you're willing to risk it. I don't need a ring because I don't have to ring of dueling. When I'm done, I can just teleport to my house and get all my prayer and everything back. So I don't need to worry about that. You actually should bring rune arrows and a magic longbow. This is for pulling Callisto to avoid some hits, as well as getting the guaranteed damage from a magic longbow spec towards the end of the kill. And the thing that's actually semi-important is you want to make sure that when you're attacking with your barracks fell, you actually have it on the stab option, which is really weird. I know you don't really think you should ever be able to stab with a flail, but Callisto's defense is actually slightly lower in stabs, so you're going to hit a bit more often if you do this, and it helps a lot too if you have an arty cloak, because with the arty cloak, you'll get an increased bonus to stab. So next, I'm going to show you guys the range setup, and then we'll get into the actual safe spots and how to set it up. A brief thing I should mention is in my inventory setup, uh, my house tab is for transportation there. The reason I actually have bruises is for tanking, uh, PKers, obviously. You guys should you know, know that this is in the wilderness, you're going to get attacked. And the potions down here, I feel like people are going to ask about. I have a stamina potion because it helps initially, and at some points you might mess up or have to reset, and you're going to need a stamina potion so you don't waste all your run energy. And an antidote in case the spiders got on you. As you can see here, I'm actually poisoned right now. So, just clarifying what all those potions are and everything. The rest is just fill up with sharks or whatever food you choose to use. And here is the range setup. I actually would not recommend ranging this unless, the reason I'm wearing Slayer Helm is because, I was going to say, unless you get a task. But even on task, it actually is probably still faster to use the Varric method. However, if you're a peer or if you're a Zerker or for whatever reason you choose to range this boss, this is the setup you want to use. Um, ignore the Ancient Coif and the Archer's Ring because if you're off task, this is what I was going to say, you should switch out. Instead of having a Slayer Helm, your extra plus one item is going to be the Archer's Ring. And this is what your gear setup will look like instead. Obviously slightly different, but this is if you're off task. Obviously, you don't want to bring the Slayer Helm with you and the Archer's Ring because then you'll be risking the Slayer Helm, and it's kind of obnoxious to do that. The inventory setup is exactly the same. Um, these slots would obviously be replaced with Sharks. And you just switch out the Super Combat with a Ranging Potion. If you don't have a lot of this gear or you can't use it because you're a peer or you're limited by a defense level, then obviously replace it with the best thing you can use. Um, this is a similar setup to what I used at Venonatus, but like I said, melee is still better. So the first safe spot I'm going to show you guys is the Callisto North safe spot. What you want to do is you want to put on your magic longbow, approach from the east, hit Callisto when he spawns, and then proceed to run east until you reach the furthest tree possible, which you can see right here. And then you actually just run behind it and then wait for Callisto to get caught up on the trees. Advantages of using the safe spot are that it's very, very easy to set up. It's really hard to mess up. As you can see, Callisto approaches, run straight north. Very, very simple. Run straight north, and then there's a certain spot you have to actually stop on, and it's approaching right here. As you can see on this hill, there's a big cross of rocks. You can kind of see I'm outlining it here. You want to run on the most southern rock on this cross. It's really easy to identify. You shouldn't have any problems finding it. And then as soon as you do that, all you have to do is run next to Callisto and you'll be fine. You it's worth noting that using this safe spot, you should only be getting hit by Callisto once or twice while setting it up, whereas the other ones, you could be getting hit more. So the next safe spot I'm going to show you guys is actually the Callisto South spot. Now advantages to this spot are that it's in single, so you don't have to worry as much about big teams of PKers, but disadvantages are that it's a lot harder to set up, plus you'll get hit a couple, a couple times by Callisto actually setting it up. So initially it's very similar, approach Callisto from the east, hit him with your magic longbow, and then proceed to run east. Except this time, instead of going behind the tree, you want to stand on this little patch of rocks right here. Now you just wait here until you see Callisto approaching you, and as soon as you see Callisto, just run south. Now you have to try and follow the same pattern that I'm running, otherwise it's possible that Callisto will reset. So you try and run south, you go around these rocks from the west, and then there's two stumps, and you want to make sure you go to the southernmost stump and just stand one square south of it. Now Callisto will get stuck behind these skeletons as you see right here. It's at this point you want to try and get one of these red spiders on you because this is single, and if you do, Callisto can't actually hit you when you're approaching him like this. 
So now the last step, run behind Callisto and then a bit north. As you can see, there's actually some rocky outcroppings on the ground here as well. You want to run to the furthest, furthest north one in this pattern, wait for Callisto to get stuck, and then simply run down and attack him. It's a lot more difficult to set up than the other safe spot, but as you can see right here, it's a lot more rewarding. Because if you're standing behind Callisto like this, you're in single. Now if you're standing in the wrong spot, like right here, you'll still be in multi. So you want to make sure you're standing in the proper spot so that you'll stay in single and don't have to worry about big teams of PKers attacking you all at once. So like I said a second ago, it is actually kind of annoying using the safe spot because it's very easy to get messed up and sometimes it can't even really be controlled, it's not your fault. As you can see right here, Callisto actually knocks me back out of his own aggro range and then proceeds to reset himself. Now how you would fix this when he begins to patrol away like this is actually just hit him with your magic longbow and then run under the south stump just like you would before instead of letting him path all the way back to his initial spawn point. So one more problem with the south safe spot that I'm going to show you guys right here is on the final step, if you don't run to the tip of these rocks, as you can see here, I actually went one square further to the east than I actually should have. He doesn't get set up properly and he moves one square too far to the east. Now, this doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but actually if you have this mistake or this happens to you, Callisto will actually still be in multi. As you can see right here, the single spot is actually one line and or one tile behind me. So... It's not that big of a deal. Obviously, if a team PK is, you know, is coming, all you have to do is run one square south and you'll be in single. But still, you want to try and avoid this problem if possible. The last method I'm going to show you guys is the range safe spot method. Now, like I said, you shouldn't do this unless you're a peer or don't have Varix for whatever reason. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing it this way, but if you're a peer and you're trying to make some extra money, I would recommend going Venonatus instead. It's a lot easier and faster to do the safe spot of Venonatus than it is a Callisto. This method is very similar to the, the melee method I just showed you run to the same exact spot as last time, follow the same procedure, you run south, go to the stump, just like last time. Except this time, you just maneuver it a little bit differently once it gets stuck in the safe spot right here. So all you have to do with this one is just run up next to the skeletons instead of going behind it and trying to maneuver it more. You can actually just hit it from here and it's in single. One thing I'm also going to mention is, you don't have to bring a magic longbow with you if you're ranging, but it is nice to get the consistent damage from the spec if you choose to bring it. Thanks for watching the video guys, I really hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section, or feel free to join my CC, Dave, and hang out there and ask questions if you want. You can also join my Discord, link is in the description below, and uh, ask questions there, or just go in there and chat with me if you feel like chatting. So, um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like it up and subscribe, and check out all the links that are going to be popping up on your screen right now. There should be a link to subscribe to my channel, and a link to my Venonatus guide if you want to check that out as well. At some point I'll probably do a loot video for this boss. Um, but the loot is very similar to Venonatus in terms of how much you'll be making per hour, so if you want to check out my loot from 500 Venonatus kills, then feel free to check that. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out, and see you next time.